Hi Cubicle Crashers, I'm Lydia Lee and welcome to Screw the Cubicle TV where we'll be exploring the freedom-based mindset, lifestyle and business on your own terms. So today I'm really excited to launch this series which is the Freedom Mindset series where we'll be exploring all things that are related to keeping us um, trapped in the boundaries of what we know is possible. So conventional careers and office jobs really keep us restricted, um, literally and figuratively. And that's because we're really affected by the environment that we're in um, and that really blocks us from really knowing what's possible out of what we are comfortable with, which is usually uh, a city life or um, that kind of structured nine to five schedule. And we're not able to really explore on a day to day um, when we're in that type of lifestyle. Screwing the cubicle is more than just giving that middle finger to your office space, even though I know that's what you've been dreaming about. It's about imagining beyond the reality of where you're at right now and being able to believe that you can create a future um, on how you want to live and work based on something that, it, that feels right for you. And it could be different for you and I. So maybe you think that this whole thing about finding meaningful work and fulfilling work is just a myth and maybe it's not something that you're capable of experiencing or the thought of making money out of the nine to five is really saved for really smart people or business savvy people and that's not accessible to you right now because you've never been an entrepreneur. So your thoughts about that, about how you want to work is limited by your past experiences. So it's really time for a new perspective and this is where I come in. I'll be the first to admit that I'm scared of a lot of things. A few years ago, when I quit my job, I was afraid that I was making the wrong choice and giving up this close to six figure job for this stab at entrepreneurship and something that I've never done before. And then a couple years ago, I was scared of selling all my belongings in Canada and moving my life to a foreign country and not really having a plan. Um, and people said that I was quite crazy to do that. And then this year, I'm really scared shitless of being more public and showing up more you know, like this YouTube video. Um, and, and so fear is kind of all around us at all times. It just kind of changes masks and faces um, every time we do something different with our lives. So I believe the freedom mindset is not about eliminating fear, but having the freedom to explore it, to understand it, and really to just play nice with it. And real freedom to me, and I hope it is to you as well, um, is, is about acknowledging and recognizing that the road doesn't have to be perfect, but we can just continue to move forward and create action towards what we want despite the fear. Um, and know that um, the fear will always exist, but that it, sh it doesn't have to actually hold us back uh, from, from knowing what we want or having what we want. And knowing what you want is probably quite clear to you. Um, but perhaps the roadmap of, of what you need to do to get there might seem a bit hazy because again, you might be limited by um, your mindset and your beliefs because you only know what you know. So I'm dedicating this series to sharing what I know with my own twisty turns with the cracking of my mask and the unraveling of my masks. And of course, what I do to help myself uh, shifting with change. And I hope that I'll be able to give you some insight through the series um, to help you with more ways to deal with fear that's keeping you from being who you are and at the end of the day, living out your best potential. So thank you so very much for inviting me to your journey as well and see you at the rest of the series. Hey, thank you so very much for watching Screw the Cubicle TV and don't forget to subscribe below to get all the latest cubicle crashing content on how to quit your nine to five and create a life and business on your own terms.